All right, here I am again with the Phil T1 Pros. And what I'm about to do, okay, is I've got this old LG G2 that I haven't used <laughs> in a long, long time. Pulled it out of the archives, really. And what I'm going to do, thanks to Dwight Avery on my channel, who says all I have to do is scan this QR code, and I'm going to be taken to a place where I can download the app. Now, I kind of tried it prior to this, and I do see that I will be able to download the an APK version, but I don't want to load it on my primary phone. So I'm going to fire it up. <laughs> okay, here we go. This is a phone that I haven't used in so long that I got to do it all from scratch. Wow. And what we're going to do here is we're going to connect these buds. We're going to connect our buds. And let's just play some tunes. Okay. We're good. And then you can see. You can see if we do this. Nothing happens. Play pause. That's working. Long press. That's going to turn on ambient mode and off ambient mode. Single tap. Nothing. Single tap. Nothing. Triple tap. Nothing. Nothing. Long tap. Again, ambient on or off. So we've got really no, not a lot of controls there. Now let's just test the in-ear detection. There you go, in-ear detection is working. Now let's see if we can get this LG old phone working. Cannot check for context. Yeah, I don't really care. <laughs> can I skip this? I don't even want an email account. Skip, skip everything. I'm gonna turn on Bluetooth here and see if I can connect to these. I do not need that. Searching, searching, searching. Miscellaneous, Phil T1 Pro. Okay, so I'm connecting these to my old, super old phone connected for call and media. Man, this is an old phone. <laughs> I don't even know what version of Android it has. I don't really care. Let's see if I can scan this Q QR code. This is pretty old school right here. I don't think this camera supports. Hmm. Okay, well let's cheat. Let's see where it's sending me. There we go. Okay, so where is it sending me? Fill app downloads. See if I can just go straight there. We're smart enough to be able to do that, right? Phil.com slash. Ooh. So it's not Phil.com. It actually ends up being Phil.cn slash CN slash M slash downloads. download slash download PHP well nice to know we're going to an active page that has scripting on it so that it can do all kinds of fun stuff when we arrive and that's the whole thing let's try it go Okay, interestingly enough, when we were here, we were getting an automatic translation to English. Not that it really did anything. Oh my god, did this just power off? Oh. Okay, forget it. I know we want to say Android. This type of file can do harm to your device. Do you want to keep it anyway? <laughs> uh, let's make sure I hit the Android. Okay, that is, I hit the Android 
and that is now coming up with the download. Oh, and it's downloading it right here. 56 seconds left. So I figure if I'm going to sideload this, what I'm hoping is I can turn on the full controls. Hopefully this app is compatible with this super old version of Android. I don't even know what it is. And then once I set the headphone, once I set the earbuds to full mode and set them up the way that I want, I shouldn't really have to do that again. I know I won't be able to like change the EQ settings or whatever, but I'm not a person who does that a ton of time anyway. All right, don't show this again. Oof, I need to pause. I don't even know how to use this user interface here anymore. File manager, downloads, fill, APK, settings, unknown sources, okay, fill. Wow, do you want to install this application? Fill plus. Take pictures, video, record audio, approximate location, well, precise location, read my contacts, and modify and delete contents of my USB storage. Wow. Change network connectivity automatically connects from Wi-Fi, full network access, access Bluetooth, pair with Bluetooth devices, of course, reorder running apps, draw over other apps, control the flashlight, vibration, prevent phone from sleeping, change my audio settings, access extra location provider commands, delete all app cache data, measure app storage, wow, modify system settings, and st send sticky broadcast. Jesus. Well, that's why I didn't want to install it on my primary phone. I figure I'll install it here once. And uh, get my... Google recommends you do not. Because it could... Yeah, I understand. I'll still install it. Thanks for the warning. I appreciate it. Now this is the mo my god this my phone has gone to already I think it was at 88 percent when I started so this is what happens with an old phone the batteries do not last very long at all open okay let's open it up I mean the earbuds are already connected Phil T1 Pro is connected go to the page hey this is bizarre that home page was completely in English. I'm charged. I can change my EQ settings. Ah! Well, now this is interesting. And I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to connect. I'm going to connect my Phil T1 XS's to my primary phone. And I'm gonna get the app going here. To go to the Phil T1 XS page. It says I need to charge. Okay, now, is this gonna look exactly the same? What do you guys think? I mean, maybe. Maybe not. I mean, there's wearing detection. Low latency mode has that symbol. That's low latency mode. Okay, this is full control mode. Right here. Ah-ha! Now we're on to something. Okay. I think I can even pull up that screen here. So I have that screen in English. And I accept. All right. This is low latency mode. Okay, so I'm in music mode. Let's just see if I've achieved what I want, which is when I disconnect from here, the earbuds are set in full control mode and when I come to this phone they will work in full control mode. 
So let's just test the theory. Powering down these fill T1XSs. And let's see if we can get these guys connected over here. And now we're connected here. T1 Pro, that's a, okay, let's give it a shot here, folks. What have we got? Play pause. Tap once is skip track on the right. Tap three times is backwards, right? One, two, three. One, two, three. I have successfully done what I set out to do. Okay, now I have volume control. One tap is volume up, one, two, three, one, two, three, volume down. But I have everything that I want now. And I could even access that low latency mode if I come back to this old phone, which I may actually not mind doing. And I could switch the EQ modes over there. Fill T1 series. Wouldn't it be so nice if where it says Fill T1 Pro, current version does not support the T... <laughs> Come on, man. I mean, it's gotta be coming, right? I mean, it literally has it on the screen. All right, folks, we were able to get it connected. That's gonna make these an even more useful uh, earbud for me. And uh, it wasn't too bad. If you have an old device, that's the way I'd recommend doing it. That app has a ton of permissions on my device to do stuff. And uh, that device you saw, it doesn't even have an email address, has nothing in it that has anything to do with me, so that seems fairly safe. And I'm happy. I'm happier, I should say. And this is a great sounding earbud. So, your match may vary. Good luck, folks. Enjoy.